another Planet X discovered, ladies and gentlemen. This one has a very odd retrograde orbit, and it has a nickname of the Rebel. <laughs> it's called Niku, and it's number 471-325-2011 KT19. That's the model number of the latest planet that was discovered. It's like a vehicle or an appliance or something. And let me just read a quick excerpt here. It's nicknamed Niku, trans-Neptunian object. It has an unusual 110-degree tilted solar orbital plane and retrograde orbit around the sun. What I find fascinating, it was discovered in 2010, and it wasn't even announced until 2016, August, six years later. Now, astronomers using the Pan-STARRS telescope linked with a supposed prograde centaur It's notably a part of a group of objects which orbits the sun in a highly inclined orbit. The reason for this unusual orbit is unknown. Now, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. There's another planet they call the Drac, the Draconian. <laughs> 2008 KV42. That's the model number. Well, they got 42 in there and Drac. Wow. 42, the sum of all things, and Drac for Draconian. Nanu, Nanu. I think it's interesting how they, the Chinese discovered this. And they name it the Rebellious Planet because of its very odd orbit. Now I'm going to go to the actual white papers again. And if you want to go to arxiv.org, you can actually pull up this PDF. Now when we look at the graphs here, it will show you the very bizarre orbit in connection with these other trans-Neptunian planets. <laughs> Look at the model numbers they got there. Why did they not tell us about this until 2016? And even then, it's like they, they, they whispered it to a couple of people. They certainly didn't make it well known. It's just marketing, I guess, just advertising. But let's take a look at this from skyandtelescope.com. We'll show you some more data on this very bizarre orbit. Do you guys have any idea why it would have such a highly inclined retrograde orbit? I know there's people out there a lot smarter than myself that listen to this program, so it would be great to get some more data on this thing. Now, the uh, I did take a look at, let's go back over here to the perihelion at 23.78 AU. The orbital period is 212.45 years. And it's not very big. It just has a bizarre orbit. And I'm going to show you a couple other trans-Neptunian objects that have very bizarre orbits going vertical versus horizontal. And I wonder how long they've been doing that. So take a look again at this. You can see... Mount Lemmon Catalina Sky Survey first spotted it in 2011. 2011 KT 19. But in here it says it was discovered in 2010. So they can't even get their story straight. Interesting. Well, it's okay. People make mistakes. I do it all the time. This right here is also another planet that has been discovered. SY99. With another very bizarre orbit around the sun. You know, our solar system, if you take the traditional definition of a solar system, is a, is a body of space that has a central star and planets that orbit that star would be in the solar system. Our solar system is a lot bigger than we've been let to believe, led to believe. And also, I'm going to get into the TRAPPIST-1 star system later today. I might do a live show and connect the dots with the Anunnaki, the seven dots in many of these cuneiform tablets. Did they come from the TRAPPIST system? 
which is about 40 light years away. It has at least three planets that are in the Goldilocks zone. Seven planets, seven dots, is Nibiru from that area. And also, Planet Nine is about the same size as Nibiru. And it's got an orbit, they say, of between 10 and 20,000 years. Well, if they're going to be off in 10,000 years, why couldn't it be 3,600 years? Or maybe Zachariah Sitchin was wrong on the orbits a little bit. I think it's fascinating. So I'll share that with you later. Leakproject.com. Also, YouTube.com slash Clandestine Time Lord. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Take a look here again at some of the larger planets that have been discovered recently that orbit our sun. Sedna. 2012 VP113, the 2013 RF98 model. That is the latest and greatest planet discovery. It's high definition, full 4K, even picture in picture. <laughs> Man, remember when picture in picture was considered cool? And then people were like, why would I watch picture in picture? It just gives me a headache. Anyway, I'm divagating. And later, I'm also going to share with you the list of trans Neptunian objects, planets. Over a thousand now. There's a bunch of them. Thank you for listening, folks. Question everything. Be the change you want to see. Leakproject.com.